So here you have, you know, a, a very crude looking piece of animation, um, which we call previs. And you guys, I'm sure, know this inside out. Is a, it, it's an incredibly sophisticated tool. Um, it's, it's packed with data. Um, this particular piece of um, film represents about eight months of work, probably by um, a whole bunch of different departments in the film, and also represents the only way that it would have been possible to, to uh, create the sequence. Um, this figure here represents um, an actor called Deep Roy, who is four foot two, I think, and he was playing an Oompa Loompa who is 30 inches tall, and he was playing 180 Oompa Loompas. So he's, he was um, either through motion capture um, and, and into animation, or um, through overscale sets in, in his full size, or as a model for animatronic robotic figures, um, he was playing out all of these parts. So we had to map, uh, first of all, the choreography, um, the camera in relation to the choreography, the choreography and the camera in relation to the environment, um, the environment in camera in relation to the environment that was a set extension, uh, and and sort of everything in between. And this this the the pink line uh, represents what was set extension. Everything below that was physically built. But to build it, um, we were in the largest stage in in Europe, in Shet uh, at Pinewood, the Bond stage. Um, the landscape is carved out of white foam. It was made in a model um, out of clay and then scanned and put into the computer. Uh, the set dressing was, um, was built physically but then mapped into this so that we could use this model as a set dressing um, model. The Oompa Loompa Choreography was created by by having a number of dancers um, play out the full choreography, videotape them, rotoscope one of those dancers, multiply it, and then have the fo the camera follow this, the avatar, and then have Deep Roy follow the choreography. So um, you know, even to the point of the Chocolate River, which at, at one point we weren't sure whether it was going to be virtual or physical, ended up being 200,000 gallons of, of fake chocolate poured into this space. Um, a, a boat had to traverse it, and so, so you've just got layers and layers and layers of information here, and it represents this nexus of information that it resides in the art department that is um, sort of under the auspices of design, but is the touch point for the director, the choreographer, the composer, the special effects, the visual effects, the cinematographer, um, a whole bunch of people crowded around these cameras.